Today, folks, we're going behind the scenes at Vito's Coal Fire Pizza and Restaurant here in St. Clair. Now, we're going to talk to some people that work here and get the real scoop of what's happening. I'm going to talk to Colleen first. And Colleen, I know her for many, many years. How many years do I know you? Long time, don't you? Has to be 20. 20 years. About 20. And what are some of the things that Vito's Restaurant here in Pizza Place has to offer, like for parties or whatever? Oh, we do many. We do many of our funerals baby christenings, baby showers, rehearsal dinners, we do on-premise, we do off-premise weddings, everything. Anything that you want to add a personal touch to, just contact Vito. I mean, we really add the personal touch to it. I am amazed. I am with Vito since the beginning for the sheer fact that he is very good to people, very good to customers, very good to staff and presentation and the amount of food and the quality of food that he sends out is just totally amazing, the personal service. And not only that, he has people like you who are really care about the customers and that's no nonsense. Uh, we had our anniversary party here, my wife had her birthday party here and it was just a, a good thing. But you're always so professional and you're so caring about your customers and, and I want to congratulate you for that. I think that's a very good... Uh, Thank uh, you, uh, Sam. Uh, I appreciate that. I Thank mean, you so much. That's, that's the truth. Okay. I'm talking to Colleen, folks, and we're going to talk Thanks. to some of the people that work here. You get the real facts, folks, what's going on here at Vito's Coal Fire Restaurant. Now we're going to talk to Marla. Marla has been working here since it opened, too. Now, Marla, when you're waiting on customers, okay, mm -hmm. you have an opportunity of seeing uh, all the food that's coming in, okay? Mm -hmm. What are some of the things that you really like to serve? Um, personally, my favorite is the sea bass. Um, it comes in fresh. How about those steaks? The cowboy steak, yes, we sell a lot of those. Uh, the cowboy steak is a very high quality cut of meat. Um, it's an elite Angus ribeye, between 20 and 22 ounces. It's intimidating to some customers when you tell them the size, yeah. but by the time they're done, they're basically licking the bone clean, trying to suck all the meat off of it. And I've had it many times. Yeah. So, so you, you know, when you see all the food coming in and someone says, you know, you, and you're always so gracious as everyone is here and you're waiting on some people, you know, um, and they say, what do you recommend? You really, you're not trying to push anything. I'm right? not, no. I try to see like what they are interested in, what they like, and I recommend what I like. Now Vito's Coal Fire Pizza and Restaurant, there's two distinctions here. You have the pizza, then you have the food, which is outstanding, as you know. Mm -hmm. So why would you tell people to come here to Vito's Coal Fire Pizza and Restaurant? It's just a, a great experience. It's unique. Um, he does a great job with the menu. He offers a variety of different foods. And they're all friendly like Marla here, folks, and they're not gonna rip you off and push things on you, okay? Well, you continue to do what you're doing. I think you do a great job here, all okay? Right. Okay, that's Marla, folks. Now let's talk to some other uh, waitresses here. So folks, you're driving down 61 and you're passing Cold Creek Plaza and you see a sign that says, Vito's Coal Fire Pizza and Restaurant. So sometimes you don't know whether you should come in. Now I'm gonna to talk to Sheila today. Sheila, uh, who's been here since they opened, right? Okay. Um, four years. Four, and another fabulous waitress, and I'm not saying it because you're the, the waitresses here and the wait staff are absolutely super. Um, you had an experience today. Tell me about your experience. Uh, I had a couple that came in and they never visited our restaurant because they just thought it was a simple pizzeria. So they decided to try it and they found out it was way much more than a pizzeria. They absolutely loved everything everything and they said they're going to be frequent flyers here. Isn't that, mm -hmm. and that happens all the time, doesn't it? Does. It does. Yeah. Uh, w when you're waiting on somebody, you know, uh, you know, I know I mentioned this tomorrow, you don't push things on people, but you know, people will ask you, you know, what are your specials or what do you recommend? How do you know what to recommend? Um, sometimes I base it on what, what I like here, yeah. pasta. Any pasta is always delicious. Seafood, pretty much everything. And it's all fresh. It's all fresh. You can't beat the sauce, etc. No, okay. no, the marinara sauce is. So a person there. came in today thinking that it was just a pizza place and they had a spinach salad. You said right? Mm -hmm. And she had a seafood dinner. She's a seafood lover, and is she that? said that she thought it wasn't sure how it would be in an Italian restaurant with seafood, and she loved it. I hear it all the time. Mm -hmm. okay. Folks, when you come in, you'll see Sheila here, and Sheila, well, uh, just as I said to the other two people, uh, you, you do a great job here. You really do. Yeah. You know, and Vito's very fortunate to have people like you. Thank you. Okay. Now let's talk to Diane. And so you look at the menu, folks, and you, and you see what their luncheon specials are. And I want to talk to uh, Diane. Now, Diane, I'm looking at these prices. And tell me the interesting story before I even talk about the lunch specials here. About Sometimes people have uh, uh, an opinion about a place, about prices. Tell me some what you've experienced. Well, um, 
By looking at vetoes, it looks a little upscale. Maybe people are a little intimidated by the structure and that it may be too expensive to eat here. But it's reasonably priced. You can have a great lunch with friends, um, a business meeting with your um, consultants. Um, if you wanted to come in and actually have a romantic dinner with your husband or wife and spend a lot of money, you can, but if you want to spend a little bit of money, you also can. And that's important. Yes, What's yes. one of the reasons why you tell people to come to Vito's Coal Fire Pizza and Restaurant? One of the reasons is because um, we are a great team. We really um, keep it together to bring out the best service, the best meals, and we do it um, in a way that most places fall apart. We really have a great team here. And not in we, that. We all work together. And, 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 I, and I could attest to that because when you bring food out, you make sure that's what you would want to eat and make sure it's done prepared right, right? Yes, yes. Okay, it's always nice talking to you, Diane. Nice okay. talking to you. Okay, now let's talk to Vito himself. And now here's the main person, folks, Vito, uh, the owner here, Vito Valenti. Vito, I talked to four of your wait staff, um, um, and you know what? They're, they're, they're just so thrilled to be working here. It's yeah. a tribute to you and your family. Well, thank what, you. What you've established here. You you know, and they talked about the food, about you know um, what they do here, and and they just they're concerned. You know, yeah. and, and it has to filter from the top. Yeah, we feel fortunate because we feel like we have the best servers in the area. The girls really come in, uh, and they're dedicated to Vito's, and they really they really do a wonderful job of taking care of their customers. The last all around town we did was with Camisan, You know, yes, and we yeah. talked about the food, etc. And I, the, the, <laughs> seriously, and you the know, law. I'll tell you, you know, when you walk into a restaurant you, you know you're not going to be taking taken over you, you're gonna get the best prices I just mentioned some of your less your lunch is eight dollars nine dollars yeah. ten dollars yeah. and then you come here and get a great meal for you know under twenty dollars yeah. etc but the food is always prepared and not only that the people are friendly and I, and again you know I hate to tell you this you know <laughs> but Kelly and your you know Peg and, and all the people that work here yeah. are just great and again it's a tribute to you yeah. Th thank you Sam it, like I said it's a family business and we all we put all pour our hearts and in, into it and, and 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 it trickles down to all our employees so when you come in folks and you see Vito tell them say hi especially the four girls that are here uh, and a lot of the other waitresses we didn't get a chance to talk to everybody they're all great so we're at Vito's coal fire pizza and restaurant uh, the the numbers on the screen I'm here a lot because I love these people <laughs> they're great I have a lot of fun yeah, you, that's the point you have a lot of fun don't you? yes yes we do he, but he picks on me a Sam, lot folks. Sam's part of our family yeah he picks on <laughs> me okay um, so you're watching all around the town. We'll see you next time. Thank you.